Welcome to Call of Duty Insider, a series of tips and tricks videos to give you an edge on the competition. Now, a master on the sticks can be a thing of deadly beauty. It's like conducting a symphony of destruction on the battlefield. But here's the thing, even if you play more like this, it's okay, because that's what Call of Duty Insider is here for. So come one, come all, good, bad, and everything in between, and behold, top five tips for multiplayer. Tip one, choose the right weapon. There are so many weapons to choose from in Call of Duty World War II. Your job is to find the one that's best for you. With five divisions to choose from, each with their own corresponding weapon class, it can seem a bit daunting. Just head to the firing range and headquarters and test some stuff out. Assault rifles are always a safe bet for those new to Call of Duty. With their solid fire rate and damage, they can deal with anything in this range. Also, when you equip a rifle with the infantry division, your rifle comes equipped with a deadly bayonet, good for one-hit melee kills. Now swap to a shotgun, and you'll be lucky to hit anything from a farther distance. Up close, though... And when equipped using the Expeditionary Force, you'll have the option to use incendiary shells. SMGs are great, but their limited range can leave you struggling to hit those faraway targets. When using the SMG's detachable suppressor with Airborne Division, you'll be able to fire off several shots undetected by enemy minimaps. Now, this is just a recommendation. If you find yourself in a lot of close encounters, go with the SMG or Shoddy. Hello! If you're looking for something more challenging, grab a sniper rifle. Make sure to try it with the Mountain Division to take advantage of sharpshooter focus. Keep trying things out until you find what feels right. When you feel it, you'll know it. Tip two, use the minimap. Right. This is your minimap. After your primary, this is the single most important piece of equipment at your disposal. This thing will help you figure out where your friends are, who is shooting at you, and where your objectives are. Keeping an eye on this feature will lead to fewer surprises and more opportunities. Tip three, stay out of sight lines. It's easy to run in guns blazing at the start of a match, but you shouldn't be surprised when it all ends badly. Take a look here, for instance. Our soldier goes after an enemy, but doesn't check possible enemy sight lines. What are enemy sight lines? Just to our soldier's left, we've got this guy. Also to his right, we've got that guy. What happens next is less than optimal. Now let's try that again, shall we? If you must enter an open area like this, find the path that keeps you covered and out of as many enemy sight lines as possible and check each of them. One, two, three. A tactical approach will always be better than a reckless approach. Tip four, learn the maps. Getting to know the layout of a map can help you anticipate movements and find the spots on the map that play into your strengths. While you're running from skirmish to skirmish, try to take stock of where you've been and how it all connects together. Pay attention to how players move through the map, where they congregate, and where they funnel through. We call these spots choke points. See them here on Gibraltar? Contact. These are good places to visit to get a kill or two. Or three. Tip five, don't overlook your equipment. While frag grenades are powerful and can be thrown long distances, they roll, they bounce, and they take five seconds to detonate. Hitting moving targets with them can be tough. Maybe try the sticky bomb. The explosive sticks to surfaces and has a quick two second fuse. Do you have concussion grenades instead of lethal grenades? No worries, toss it in there, make sure you're not looking at it, and you'll have yourself a shooting gallery when you go inside. And that's it. Practice these five tips and you're guaranteed to get at least a little bit better. Call of Duty World War II is easy to pick up, but hard to master. The most important thing is that you keep getting out there and testing things out until you find what feels right. Your orders? Report to Major Howard and Headquarters, accept a firing range challenge, head to the firing range, and complete it. Not only will you get a better feel for the weapon, but you'll get a reward too. It's a win-win. Be sure to check back for more episodes of Call of Duty Insider to get the lowdown on how to improve your gameplay.